Thank you very much, Johnny. Derek, let's talk about your rotation. These guys have gotten off to a strong start to the season. Let's start with today's starter, Gio Gonzalez. Uh, you talked to me prior to his first start when we were in Cincinnati about wanting him to kind of keep his emotions more on the level and make sure that he's not showing his emotions too much. How have you felt like he's handled that element of the game, and how has his stuff looked to you to begin the year? Uh, first of all, he, he's done a good job with it. He's definitely paying attention to it, and uh, uh, he's, he's done great for us to this point, and uh, we just uh, need him to go out there and, and uh, execute his stuff and uh, move his fastball around, use his changeup, and, and throw his hook for strikes and chase. Max Scherzer is a guy who has a specific game plan every time he takes the mound. He's very... Uh, focused on how he wants to sequence his pitches and, and attack things. How, how have you kind of joined him when it comes to formulating that game plan? And what's that relationship building been like from your ends to, to try and uh, you know, take a guy that has so much talent and has proven so much and try and help make him a little better? Well, first of all, he, he, uh, you know, he gets strike one and he may not see another strike and everything looks so similar as it's coming to the strike zone and just darts a bunch of different ways and he wants he wants to he wants to strike you out strike everybody out <clears throat> there's some times when he can be uh, uh, pitch the contact a little a little more and get uh, easy easy innings um, and uh, really pay attention to his pitch count management um, but you know it's just a, it's just a relationship that um, in terms of him moving forward is uh, the trust and um, formulating game plans on based on what we get with, from the uh, analytic guys. Steven Strasburg has pitched well. He's also given up more home runs this season than he did uh, for a good part of last year. Is there anything that you're noticing with him that has led to the, the elevated home run totals this year? Um, Steven can pitch up in the strike zone. Um, I, he just needs to stay out of the middle of the plate. And, uh, um, when he gets a little jumpy mechanically, the ball tends to stay in the center of the plate. When he's spot on and staying close, he gets the ball to the to the thirds and is, is generally out of the middle. So the big key with him is being out of the middle. Tanner Roark has bounced back seemingly from what he felt like was a disappointing year for him last year. What have been your impressions of Tanner, and, and what's he, the key for him with that run back two seamer and and the off speed stuff that he that he shows to him having consistent success. Well, uh, Tanner can do a lot of different things, and uh, um, he he does have a great comeback two seamer, and um, his two seamer to the third base side is also very good. Mm. And uh, if he trusts his, his two seamer to the third base side of the plate, he's going to get rollovers as well. He can't be solely on on first base side all the time. Um, but he's he's been he's been good. He commands all his pitches. He uh, puts in the work, and um, he's he's going to be an innings eater for us. And Jeremy Hellickson has come into this rotation and three starts in now. It, it looks like he's been a nice boost for for this group overall. Um, he's a veteran guy. He doesn't bring the same type of stuff really as anyone else in the rotation. Um, what type of compliment do you think he can be to the hard throwers like like Max and Steven and? You know, Tanner and, and Gio also bring very different looks than he does. Absolutely. He, uh, a veteran, knows how to pitch, uses all his pitches, um, pitches down in the strike zone well. Uh, quick outs, as we saw yesterday, quick outs. So I think he had 50 pitches through five innings. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a veteran. He's a pro. He knows how to pitch. Um, we're we're uh, working on a little a little bigger cutter for him in certain areas and there's certain times of an at-bat. So, uh He's, he's been good. He, it was, at some point, it'd be nice to maybe try to sandwich uh, a Geo or a uh, Jeremy in between the big righties. Mm -hmm. So that, that might happen at some point, but we'll see. Thanks so much for the time, Derek. We appreciate it. Thank you.